Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions and as you can see I'll, I'll be watching episode 5 of the third season of Overlord today. So, in this last episode we got to meet this demon snake and the giant beast and I wasn't like expecting, uh, especially the demon snake to have that appearance. Uh, it looks kind of funny but yeah, I, I honestly thought it would look like a, a woman or something, but apparently not. Anyway, we saw that that uh, giant beast was really like looking down on on Momon, and he basically he paid the price for it. So I don't know exactly if he's the one like um, planning like this attack on on, on that village, uh, but we'll see in this episode most likely. Like we know it's some ogres uh, like uh, doing an attack, and I kind of wonder what's going to happen there and how that uh, that maid is going to help out as well. Uh, but yeah. We'll see what happens, and I just hope that uh, no one gets killed, like, especially these characters that we know for so long, like uh, Nefuria and Enri. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens, and I'm really, like, excited to be watching this. So, I hope you guys are ready, and let's start it. It's already happening. They have about five. Those five that came there. Oh, she's already the village chief. Hmm. Yep. So that that happened between episodes, I guess. But yeah, it's really nice to see her as a village chief. But right after she gets that position, this happened. So yeah, it's already like a big test. I'm mostly curious about like Who's going to do what? Especially the the maid. Since she wanted let that village to get crushed. And Momon only mentioned that he wants Nefuria, Henry and her grandmother, I believe, uh, protected. So yeah, he didn't say anything else about the other people. So yeah, kind of wonder what she's going to do. And they really need help. To leaders. Hmm. Is that going to do anything? Nice. Potions. Yeah, that's what I want to to see. I mean, the demon snake seem to be on Momon's side, not really planning something like this. But the giant beast, on the other hand, probably pissed off. Hmm. 
Is even wolves. It's the other one, right? Is that the giant beast? Yeah, they they have some of these uh, ogres on their side as well. I feel like the monsters are so much more detailed than the rest of the characters. Damn. They're gonna bridge eventually. So they would bridge there. Really? So that's what it was about? <laughs> really? That's just like some powerful glue? <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to remember if he looked like that. I think it's kind of different now. Damn. They're willing to sacrifice themselves. There's another one. I think that one was by the side of uh, the giant beast before. Not sure if that was the same one, actually. Um. Make some ogres. That thing again. Oh, 
I was wondering, how would they make ogres? Well, they're distracting it at least. I'm still wondering if it, if this is a giant beast. I think it was his sword. Yeah. Oh, so that's why, yeah, the smell. Exactly what happened. That's how they do it. That's bad. That's really bad. He escaped. That maid needs to show up. Damn, he said it. Damn. He can't die now. Developing. That maid really needs to show up. Yeah. Doesn't do anything. Oh shit. Damn. Just that one hit, and he's done. Yeah, that's why you can't die now. Yeah. Oh, she was looking for help. It was a maid. Yep, there she is. I was like wondering, she had to show up. Well, this should be easy for her.
It should be together after this. She's gonna say it too. Yeah, he's already done. <laughs> Damn. I mean, it's really easy for them, so... Okay, they are... Okay. All right. <laughs> this girl. Hmm. They understand the situation. Yeah, a bit. If she hadn't shown up. That's probably what it is. Well, he surely loves you, so... Oh, damn. All things are developing a lot between them, so that's good. At least now they said it. It's just a matter of time, I guess. And that's the sword from the other guy. So I'm guessing that really was... Yeah, it didn't look like the giant beast. Or that. It was an undead. We didn't, like, Momon just killed all of those trolls and made them, like, undead and planned this invasion. Like, I'm not sure. And she looks so pretty. Oh, look at her. Oh, that one is there as well. Beauty Alpha. It did Nemo as well. Damn, they're there already. <laughs> it's pretty big. Damn, this reception though. That mask. <laughs> yeah, his guildmates. Hmm. Um, she's so nervous. Well, yeah, 
Yep. Oh. Okay. I have no idea what that is. That's a lot of food. Intelligence apple? Um... They're like, what? <laughs> yep. All right. Oh. oh, Nemo, right? Yeah, <laughs> you didn't mention anything about Nemo. And he needs to say that fast. So she doesn't do anything crazy. I wonder if they're actually going to, like, live there from now on. I doubt it. Damn, she said it. I mean, not directly, but she implied it. They're so gonna end up together. Almost looks like a wedding. That was a really fun episode. Like, the first part was really tense, but... The rest of it was really... Really enjoyable. And I mean, the whole episode was enjoyable. But yeah, I was like wondering if the... If those trolls and the... And the ogres were the same... That moment faced before in that cave. Uh, where the giant beast and the demon snake was... Were. Uh, but yeah... The, uh, at the end, the the goblin was just mentioning that it was like he was dead. And I remember that he, the sword he took from him, it was the same sword that the giant beast used, I believe. So, I think that uh, Momon like, killed those ogres in the last episode and turned them into like undead. And for some reason they attacked the village. But I'm... I'm not completely sure about that. Like, it wouldn't make too much sense, but I don't know. Hey, it's something to think about. I want to believe that they are really like undead uh, monsters now. I mean, not now because they already, like, they got defeated, but... It wouldn't make too much sense, I don't know. I don't know if it's part of his plan to have that attack on the village, knowing that Lupis is there to help. It's like a... like a strategy. Oh, you're going to see more of this guy. Finally. It looks like... It reminds me of Gilgamesh from Fate.
Invitation to Dance. Damn. Okay, so apparently we're going to see something new in the new in the next episode, and it's uh, apparently going to be involving this new guy, like some sort of king or emperor, and it's going to be interesting to like learn more about him. I don't know if he's like a good guy or a bad guy. I'll have to like see much more of him. Uh, like the only thing I saw of him was at the end of the last season, uh, but I don't exactly remember if he looked like a nice guy or a bad guy. But yeah. Uh, like either way, I'm going to eventually d discover all of that in the next episodes. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see some new characters uh, joining. And I'm uh, like I'm still not sure if Nefiria, Endry, and uh, Nemu are going to s uh, stay there, or if they're just like there uh, to get some instructions on like uh, like about the potion and all of that. Just like getting to visit uh, th that place. But yeah, I'm not too sure about that. But it's going to be really, uh, really cool to watch the next episodes. Uh, we are like slowly getting to the to the end of Overlord for now. I don't believe the season four is out yet. But yeah, it's uh, it's been like really awesome to watch all of these episodes. It's uh, it's an anime that I really enjoy. And I mean, when I started it, I didn't knew anything about it, so it was a nice experience, and it was uh, also like a good surprise uh, to me. Like it's uh, more funny than I expected. I expected it to be more like a more serious about these like demons, uh, like some sort of of it, but yeah, it's uh, co uh, like completely different. It's really fun, and I'm enjoying the story so far. Even if like some things are kind of confusing, uh, be mostly because the it implies that you know the visual novel, I believe. But yeah, since I don't know, uh, it's a uh, it's a different experience uh, uh, to me. But yeah, it's really nice, and I'm really excited to be watching the next episodes. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode and if you did please like and subscribe to the channel and you can also join my discord and my patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode, so see ya!